Good morning. It is actually late today. It's 7.30. I got back from Florida yesterday evening. Didn't get home until seven. Uh, it was actually a quite dramatic flight on the way home. <laughs> so I'm not feeling so hot today, I'm really not. But I get like this question all the time, whether it's from clients or people who are just going on vacation like, in the summertime, even in the fall really, you know, like with uh, Thanksgiving or holiday trips, weekend trips, whatever. People will be like, I don't know how to get back on track after my weekends, I get ruined it, ruined the week, whatever. So I'm gonna show you how I personally handle it. And something I always like to tell my clients and tell you guys is it's not that serious, okay? Nothing in life is that serious. And so I had taken off uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. And the only thing I did was went for a run because I wanted to get some sun. And that's the only type of activity I did when in this little vacation. And so mm -hmm. I'm feeling a little like run down and just not so great coupled with the traveling experience yesterday, which was miserable. And so uh, I have to kind of like get ready for the rest of the week. I don't want to just throw away the rest of this week. Okay, I wanna have a normal week. I wanna eat my foods, but I don't have any groceries. I don't have things prepped and ready to go. So I kind of wanna just like bring you guys along with me for that. I would have normally started this vlog actually with breakfast. However, Today I do have to get more fasting blood work done and I still have like another hour or so. I'm so hungry. So what I think I'm gonna do actually is take them for a WALK and then I'm gonna try to just go over there early and be like, yo, I'm hungry. <laughs> and then I'll get my groceries afterwards. We'll make some breakfast. I'm gonna work out later in the day today because I don't wanna work out on a completely empty stomach. And I'm just gonna kind of show you how I work through my post-traveling food and workouts and just get back in the groove with me. So, welcome to today's video. Sorry, I look like I got smashed in the face. It's gonna be a good day. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> I just got to the doctor's office. Today I am having done a full blood allergy panel for food, environmental, an autoimmune marker, a blood test, and something else. I can't remember what the last one is. Just because I've been having these really weird issues with, uh, I think I talked about this in my previous video. Uh, I was in the ER, la ER last week with a severe allergic reaction. It was really scary actually, and I don't know what caused it. My face, I don't know if you can really see in this video, but it's still pretty swollen underneath my eyes, and I don't know what is causing this. So, doing a little bit of testing. I've had some weird like health things kind of happening lately, so I just wanna get some more answers. So, that's what I'm doing right now, and I brought my little coffee with me so I could have it afterwards when we go grocery shopping. So, I'm gonna go in and get this blood drawn, and I will be back. Okay. <sighs> No, I. Where's the other one? Oh, there she is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, get in here. <laughs> Come on, get into it. Hi, handsome. Oh, mommy.
off looking so good today. This is not my best look. I just made some Driven Greens. They came out with a new flavor, citrus, way better than the original. I used to mix the original with actually a citrusy flavor powder from Caged Muscle, that's what it was. It made it taste much more enjoyable. I will say their greens are not grainy, which is nice, but I just, I don't know, I've never loved the taste of greens in general. So I'm pleased with this citrus flavor, but I also mixed it with an emergency packet because I know I'm gonna get sick. I don't even know why I bother traveling. Like literally, I hate everything about it. I try to convince myself that I should be like branching out of my comfort zone and do things I don't like. I don't like it for a fucking reason, okay? And now I feel like shit. I don't feel sick yet, but I feel it coming, okay? So anyways, we're gonna drink this. I just got off my afternoon Zoom. Clients, I have more clients to do. It's still kind of early, it's only 11 right now, and I still need to grocery shop. Ryan is working all day today, so I don't have help right now. <laughs> but I need to get this all sorted, grocery shop, prep some things. We're gonna clean out the fridge. This is also a good part of getting back from vacation. Cleaning out your fridge, always suggest doing that. Go through everything, see what you need, make a list, go to the store. So that's what we're gonna do while I'm drinking this. And then we're gonna go get our groceries. Publix. This is kind of like my my staples, right? Like this is what when I'm out of groceries, this is what I buy every single time to have my proteins, my sides, my veggies, all that. Tomatoes and some fruits. This is the almond milk for my smoothies and cereals. These I use for my cold foam in the morning. I've got some chicken bacon, sweet potatoes. I've really been loving these little wraps. I do not get them because they're keto. I just really like them and I like that three or four at a time. So these are amazing. And then I also like their spinach wrap version. So I make like really awesome wraps with those. And this I just keep in the freezer at all times to have a backup if I need something quick. They take like 10, 15 minutes to make in the air fryer. Got some egg whites, Greek yogurt, spinach, lettuce, my little bags of veggies. I think I told you guys this in my favorites video. I've been really into the Halo Top lately, their new formula. They didn't have peanut butter though, so I got cookies and cream, some bone broth rice, I got a lot of dark chocolate chips, so I got those. My little Yasso bars. I love these so freaking much. If you have not tried these, you need to try them. They're amazing. Then some protein pasta with some Parmesan cheese. My favorite Dave's Killer Bread cinnamon raisin muffins. Alyssa's, of course black beans and then my meats in here except some beef and chicken so this is my run for the day i'm gonna start putting all this away and then we're gonna get in with a little meal prep mid meal prep to make this burrito, which I don't know that I'm going to be able to close. <laughs> but I just used one of those spinach wraps. I put some lettuce, some lemon chicken, black beans, feta cheese, avocado, and some hummus. Kind of a random burrito, but I had something similar in Florida and I really liked it. And there's a bailey hair on my food. We're gonna try to wrap this and crisp up the edges. <laughs>
the end of that, which took me literally an hour and five minutes, by the way. I have been meal prepping like this forever. I never make meals, like the same meal, over and over and over. I do everything as its own entity. So chicken, rice, protein pasta, garlic parmesan, green beans, regular roasted vegetables, black beans. This was that same pack of meat. I just split it in half. I did half ground beef, half patties. I've got my sweet potatoes over there, which I, I don't like to prep those ahead of time, honestly, because I don't think they taste as good. So I'll just pop that in the microwave when I'm ready to use it. And then the wrap that I just had. So you can do chicken bowls, right? You can do chicken rice, black beans, and mixed vegetables. You could do chicken burrito bowl like I just had. Chicken and pasta, ground beef and pasta, burger. You could do burger, sweet potato, and green beans, or mixed vegetables. This is how I like to meal prep because I want variety. I want the option. So highly recommend doing it this way if you're not meal prepping in this fashion. It is very helpful if you do not like to eat the same meal over and over again. because of that hur hurricane that we escaped from Florida. It's kind of coming up the coast across Florida and up into the South and North Carolina area, so that's fun. They're driving me nuts today. So I'm gonna go finish some of these check-ins I've been kind of working on all day today, eat my regular dinner. I think a big component to getting back on track, as much as I like hate using that term, but you know what I mean? I think a really, important thing to remember is that time off or the time not being on your routine is not detrimental to your overall progress it's more about how you get back into it and what you're doing for the remainder of the time right so like those four days are nothing in comparison to the weeks and weeks of consistency and meals like this in my routine and everything else so the biggest thing I can tell you is really to not stress it. Like the more stress you put on it, I think the worse you'll feel. And it's like a vicious cycle. If you go into it with an open mind and then you come back like refresh and you're just like, you know what? It was a great four days off. I'm happy to be back in my routine and just pick up where you left off. That to me is the best thing that you can do. A lot of times clients will have this issue where they come back in the middle of the week, like how I just did. And then they're like, well, fuck the whole week. I'm not doing this for the rest of the week. I'll start again on Monday. When in reality, you could have had the rest of the week be just as consistent as you were before you left. And that is more important than those couple days off. So I'm gonna eat this pasta bowl. And I really just truly really don't wanna clean up anything else. I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I'm gonna wait for Miranda. So, so I'll recap with you guys later on tonight when I uh, have my little nighttime snack. Oh, I was gonna get the tongue out. Oh, you sucked it back in. Oh, the critter. Ooh, you saw it, though. Oh, she's so good. Oh, she's so good. Who's the best girl? Maybe. Is it you? Oh, yeah. It's you. You're the best girl in the whole world. You want one? <laughs> Do you want that one? Okay, there you go. Alright. Excuse me, Lily. Bring my toast in here. Just really wanted some good old fashioned peanut butter toast. Can you see this? Hold on. Good old multi grain with some jiff and honey. I'm sure. If you're coming back from a vacation and you're watching this video, just know that I too feel like shit after not eating my normal foods and being super bloated. I literally sent this picture to my best friend last night and I was like, please look at how bloated I am from traveling. Happens to the best of us. It's normal. 
it's annoying, but it will take a few days to go back to normal. So that's okay. Don't stress. Make sure you drink your water really, really, really hydrate because chances are you were not drinking enough while on vacation. Prioritize your protein, your fresh fruits and vegetables, all of that stuff, and just go right back into it. That's it. That's all you need to do. It's nothing crazy. There's no secrets, no magic. That's it. Also make sure you get some good sleep because I don't know about you, but I don't sleep good on vacation. So that's the end of this little vlog. I'm gonna hang out with my children. <laughs> yeah, you're a good boy. And I will see you guys in next week's video. I love you so much. Thank you, as always, for clicking the thumbs up, hitting subscribe if you're not subscribed. <coughs> oh God, <coughs> turning on my post notifications. So you never miss a Monday with Manders and I will see you in next week's video.